good. Appreciate it, man. Maybe one day I'll have enough money to rent an apartment up here. <laughs> I can just walk over there. Yeah. Live in one of these apartments. Not the one with the Cubs thing on it, though. It'd have to be the... <laughs> <laughs> I'd have the one with the Cardinals. <laughs> That'll make the other one happy, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Really live right below them. No, yeah. I'd have to live above them. I feel like your stuff dropped on me. If I... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'd have to live above them. <laughs> they would enjoy that a lot. Something's leaking there. Uh-oh. Some uh -oh. water going across the road there. Shh. Oops. Nobody knows, nobody tells. Well, it just goes away. Well, the city will find out about that. Yeah. It'll, they'll be digging a hole in the street. <laughs> Very large hole. Yeah. That happened um, not, not far away from here. There was a water main broke and it shot water. Yep. It I've was, seen pictures of that. That was... was um, down the Adams or something? Yeah, down. It happened not real long ago, no. actually. I saw it in the paper. Down by that curve on Adams. Mm hmm Some old, still some old um, sections of well, Peoria's. I mean, a lot of old stuff in Peoria, you know? There is. I mean, in... Uh, in fact, where I live, that was the area was built in the 50s. But still, that's that's not that old, 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 but it's old enough. And then it ended up having to replace all of the water mains along. Where I live, in my street, all of them. They just went ahead because they, they were fixing them and fixing them and fixing them. And finally, they're just like, you know what? We're just taking all that. Yeah. And they did the same thing on four still. It's easier to take care of it when you plan it than wait for them to break. Yeah, I mean, and finally at four still, they just took out the whole freaking street. I remember that when they did that because I was like, four still was out for months. Because it was out, then it was out again, then it was out again. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to take the whole thing out and put a whole new water main in here. Because then, then because it's, it's old, I mean, Forest still has been around a long time. Yes, it has. And, and it was old. And, and the, it, it, usually when it starts to get freezing cold, I want to make it But they just do, I mean, they, they don't have a, a specific, they just go. A lot of the old ones are, are uh, the clay, and, and they were put in like the 1900s or something like that. They finally just got to a point where they just they just give, or they're cast iron, the cast iron, I mean even cast iron doesn't last forever. No, it does not. But the new stuff they got now. It will last a long, long time. They won't have to worry about that. That special, uh, I don't know what it's, a special high impact, um, it's not like ABS, but it's like a special yeah. high, high impact, special plastic. But it's really strong. It lasts like 50 years. It's supposed to last like 50 years, I think. Maybe longer than that. It might last longer than that. With the old stuff, I mean, you hit it with a... I think I hit it with a hammer and just busted it. But it was with the old. Back when they first put it in, it was probably pretty strong. Probably. But but the uh, water reacts more with metal yes, it does. than iron. That it does with the plastic. Plastic lasts a lot longer time than that. Especially that real thick stuff they got. It's um, I forgot what, but the um, company was. 
but they got that tubing for the gas, mm-hmm. and they got that that same company makes. I think it's the same thing with the for the water. It'll take the pressure better. That's good. The cast iron in in time, it just it just becomes part of the ground. It gets so. Um, I mean, it is iron, but mm-hmm. iron comes from the ground. I mean, it's it just becomes after periods of time it breaks down. But it takes a long, I mean, hundred years, maybe longer than that. There's still a lot of old stuff around Peoria. <laughs> I mean, back in my dad's day, there was the old steam pipes. Mm-hmm. You know, and when they dug up some old streets downtown, when they built that new big house down there, they tore down some old buildings. And underground, you can see the old steam pipes. There was a big plant that all the heat. This one, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All the heat used to be steam heat. It's all hot water. Mm-hmm. They ran underground to all the buildings. But then a lot of buildings were run by coal too. Heated by coal. My old school when I was growing up was coal. And it was the whole uh, neighborhood would be covered with smoke. I remember when they used to do that, when it used to be smoke all over. <laughs> the smoke would come down out of the chimney, and the whole place would just be full of smoke. And later they got rid of that and they put natural gas. Heaters. Like natural first. gas is a lot cleaner. Yeah. It's right here with the light, with the Buick in the driveway right there. Well, it was cheaper to run. Yes, it did. And it was easier. You didn't have to load the. <laughs> and cleaner. You didn't have to load the boiler. You know, oh, yeah, it was cleaner. It didn't make all that smoke. It made white. White smoke, you know. Yeah. But. It's Steam. Different. Yeah. Alrighty. You have a good night. Alright, thanks. I appreciate the ride, man. No problem. It was two dodges tonight. <laughs> Alrighty. You have a good evening. Alright, thank you.